I'm Shay Russell from mining.com.au and joining me today is Shane Pike, the Managing Director for Great Western Exploration. Shane, how are you? I'm great, Shay. How are you? Great, thank you. Now, I'm thrilled to be talking to you today because uh, you have been out exploring in the Yilgarn and rather than finding just gold and copper, I believe your company has made a serendipitous discovery and perhaps pulled out some niobium out of the ground. Uh, mate, talk me through this very unexpected announcement. Oh, I'd love to, Shay. Look, this is this is great news for, for Great Western. Um, yeah, look, we've... T- uh, uncovered a really large two by one kilometre niobium soil anomaly, uh, abs- absolutely huge. And uh, serendipitous is the right word, word to use. We are looking um, for copper and gold in our year at a west, year at a north um, tenement. Stacks of data uh, there. We're st- slowly getting our way through it, and uh, there's a, some really interesting targets nearby of this of Sumo, which we've just uncovered. And part of that work we uh, work we did is that uh, this really stands out as a big niobium target, and um, really really drew our, our eye. Certainly not something we were directly looking for, but fell out just because we we're doing field work and um, active in the area. I got a little bit too excited about the actual metal we discovered and got you to jump straight into that rather than going through probably one of the core things people need to know is that is what is niobium because I know when I read your announcement this morning I had to go look up where it was in the periodic table. Yeah, not not a stack of people know about niobium. Niobium effectively is a Mm -hmm. hardener in steel. It gives us, gives it, hardness it's uh slightly lighter 90 percent of it's used within the um, steel industry but uh there's also uses for it in microprocessors for computers and and so forth as well now let's bring it back to the sumo discovery that you're calling it um how did you stumble across this now obviously i'm painting a picture like you're just geologists walking around the bush and you just kick a rock and there it is of course that's not how modern day geology works how did you unearth this? Because this is pretty impressive. Yeah, absolutely. Look, we, we had completed some surface programs, surface soil programs through through this area, um, looking for copper and gold. And one of the one of the uh, targets that we were looking at, we were just going through the molting elements, just trying to understand what type of system it could be. And this niobium absolutely lit, lit up. And it's not just niobium. It's niobium, tantalum, zirconium, um, thorium, all the types of elements that are often found with uh, car- carbonatite uh, styles of deposits. So that, that drew our eye. We went out there, we ground truthed it. We wanted to make sure that it just wasn't some s- sedimentary, like a creek or something like that, that it could be. Went out there, found that it's a, it's actually a small little hill there. The uh, the prospects, the, the target's absolutely real. And um, we, we completed some heavy mineral um, sampling across it. And what that will tell us, uh, it will separate out the um, heavy minerals and that will tell us what the niobium is re- reporting to and what style of mineral, mineral deposit that it could be. And that will inform future exploration programs. I guess there's got to be a bucket load of more work ahead to come for this because not only was it unexpected, uh, do you even know what mineral system this is part of yet? Yeah, look, it could either be a pegmatite style of deposit or what we'd prefer is a carbonatite um, style of deposit. There's minerals like pyrochlor that uh, hosts niobium. And if some of this further analysis we're going to complete shows that, then um, we think we've got a really strong chance and we can go out and do some um, cheap, hopefully, air core drilling uh, to further define this and hopefully find a big niobium deposit. Uh, listen, Shane, you know, you and I have talked off and on throughout the year about obviously uh, the Oval and Oval South projects that you've got. So the area is known for being highly prospective for gold. Uh, with some of the minerals you've just mentioned, uh, uh, the tantalum and the zirconium on top of the niobium, is this area known for this type of mineralization? Really good question, Shay. Uh, we actually went through the public record to see if anything had, had even been proposed before through all the old exploration reports and certainly not. But this um, this project is just throwing up a stack of stack of really good targets, copper gold targets, niobium. It's a right part of the world. It's got the right structure, the right, right geology, and I've got no doubt there'll be more targets falling out of this area in the next weeks and months to come. 
Uh, all right, listen, this is terribly exciting. Uh, I always love it when I've got to dust off the periodic table and go learn about a new metal. Um, I cannot wait to see what comes out of the ground next. Uh, keep me updated on future targets. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Shay.